Hello, Joan Schubert here with our 28th installment of the Jazz Flute mini-series. We're going to be covering the D minor blue scale triads today, or at least the start of the triads, and going on to Satin Doll after that. Here's a long low A for tuning. to adjust your head joint. I'll give you a, a moment. You might remember that we were doing the intervals of the root of the note for each note of the D minor blues scale and then going to the third. So we're starting to think in triads or chords on each note of the D minor blues scale. If that sounds confusing, we've worked up to this point and feel free to backtrack to installment 27, 26, 25, and we've, we've come this far just going in steps. It's pretty easy, I think. So today we're gonna to go ahead and finish doing the beginning of those triads going all the way up to that middle D. We start in the low D and end up on the, the middle D. So this is what we did last week. to the A flat C. So that was D to F three times, then F to A three times, G to B flat three times, A flat to C three times. Right now we're going to move ahead to the A natural C, the C to the E, and the D to the F. I'll stop in between. So I'm going to play right now the A C many times, A to C, and why don't you just jump in and play with me. the C to the E many times and then just jump in. And lastly the D to the F. And that my friends is the beginning of thinking in chords. So congratulations. That's your assignment this week, is to keep going over that whole scale, D, F, D, F, F, A, F, A, etc. And then afterwards, we'll, meaning next week, we'll go ahead and work on coming back down. On to Satin Doll today. We're going to be keeping it simple with the metronome. I've got it at 60. And it seemed like a good idea to, to go ahead and pay attention to the beat now that we've sort of gotten the notes. We were working on leading tones of B flat to B, C sharp to D, and A to B flat. And what's going to happen right now is I'm going to play through the first time of the melody with those leading tones, and then I'll let you know when the repeat comes and you can join me. Last G, um, note readers already know this from the music, but that last G is a whole note, four beats, 
tied to a quarter note, which makes it five beats. So it's four beats plus the one in the next measure. So that's what I tried it to um, show today, and that would be something you'd want to do as well. I'm going to play the B section, or sometimes jazz musicians call that the bridge, just so you can hear that in a, a slow fashion, and you certainly could try it this week too. simply repeats that first phrase that we started with. So once you learn that bridge, you'll know the whole piece because you'll just sort of sandwich in that, that last melody that we already know. If you want to add some leading tones or chromatics or anything else in there this week, if you're a more advanced person, please feel free. And beginners, if you want to just stick with me, keeping it easy and slow, that's great those leading tones on the first melody, and then getting used to hearing that, that bridge or that B section. Thanks for watching.